this is Journal 2.6, and what we're doing here is reviewing a little bit of respiration. So this is day two of cellular respiration. And what this is actually about is making bread rise. If you've ever made homemade bread at home, not banana bread, but real homemade bread, you know that it actually has to rise. This is actually what biscuits do, too. You put in this flat dough, and then the biscuits rise up. The reason that the biscuits or the bread rise is because there's actually a living thing put in to bread dough. That living thing is yeast. Yeast, which are living, are important for baking bread because they release CO2 during respiration. So that might have been a little bit hard. I'm not sure that we talked about specifically yeast releasing CO2. They don't, however, require any oxygen to do respiration. Right? Everyone thinks respiration is breathing, but it's not. Respiration in your cells is actually all about getting energy. So these yeast cells are put in nice warm water with sugar, and they start producing these bubbles. Now these aren't the bubbles from hydrogen peroxide. These aren't oxygen bubbles. These are bubbles from respiration. And yeast, since they don't need any oxygen, they actually perform anaerobic respiration, also called fermentation. And what I'd like for you to do is make sure that you go back to your notes. Some people said in their reflection that they like that they keep going back to their notes to look things up. So go back to your notes to look for the equation. There are two reactants, so something plus something, and that produces three things. But keep in mind that we're not trying to produce gas. That's not why yeasts do respiration. Their job isn't to make bread rise. They're just doing their living reaction and they're trying to get this form of energy. So make sure that you write down the specific form of energy. After this, you're actually going to be working on a big assignment called regulated respiration, where you look at all the different ways that respiration relates to your life. It's okay if you work in partners, as long as it's okay with Ms. Woodall, but we need to try and get a lot of this done. So make sure that you're kind of being focused today. You will have a quiz on Wednesday. A little bit later today, you'll check your apps, and then you'll go on to correct your pre-assessment. So make sure that you're working really hard on the regulated respiration. We're trying to make sure we can really see what respiration is and how it works. I'll see you Wednesday. Don't forget, quiz 2.2.